Okay, on this rainy day. Okay, we are the Chinese Music Ensemble in New York, and we are at 49 uh, years old right now. 49 years? Okay, well, actually, let me start with an uh, immigrant story. Uh, our organization was founded by, uh, in particular, one particular person. His name is Mr. Chang. Okay, uh, he left uh, China in 1947. And when he started to be here, he started getting a little homesick. And so to him, music was represents all his Chinese. <coughs> okay, so he started along with uh, four other people. Uh, and so we started with a very small group. Okay, and these are the four people. Now I have to say that this particular picture well, is made in Morningside Drive, uh, Morningside Park. Okay, this is Mr. Chang. And I am his oldest daughter, so I'm Josephine. I'm his oldest daughter. But anyway, uh, about 1961, we started four of us and started playing. But it got, it started growing. And so this is why, when you would go, go to our concert, which is uh, President American Concert Hall on June 6th, we have a large group, around 35, 40. We actually have at least 50 people, just people just come and go. Okay, so we are actually the only uh, full-scale Chinese orchestra in the United States, actually, uh, other than Taiwan, Singapore, China, okay? So we have a full orchestra. We have, uh, we use all the instruments, okay? Um, now, so first I'm gonna talk about Chinese music. Chinese music is very old, okay, at least 5,000 years old. And uh, I will give you an example of how old Chinese music can be. Uh, excavations 1988 found some very old bones okay, of people who, were, who lived in during the Bronze Age and found these flutes which were made out of a particular bird. <coughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> and and uh, what is good about 9,000 years old? These are 9,000 years old. The interesting thing is if you were to actually play this, this flute, this bone flute, you actually hear a sound that 9,000 years ago these people had played, okay? Because normally, remember, sound is something that we, we don't reproduce, okay? But here's well, so one thing we could do. We can play a 9,000-year-old flute and recreate what an ancient, ancient, ancient people were able to hear. Now, the uh, Chinese music has two uh, important things that in the world history of music. Uh, one is we have the standardization of pitch, uh, and we had the first written music, okay? It's about 2,000 years old. They were found in some Buddhist caves, and they're made for a particular instrument called a Bu Qi. I'm sorry, I only have a PowerPoint. The Bu Qi is a uh, scholar's instrument. Okay, so, so we have the written first, uh, oldest written record for music, and we have the standardization of pitch. Now, um, how do we know all this? Okay. Because one of the few things that Chinese does, you know, when they try to build a road or try to build buildings, when they start to dig, suddenly out of the blue, you see signs of an ancient tomb. So we have two uh, tombs I marked out here. One of the oldest is about oh, 2,000 years old again. It's, uh, his name is Marquis Z. Yi of Zun. Okay, and he has two. Okay. What's preserved, he's, he's here in the uh, coffin, was here. But um, because he was an important person, they found this fabulous collection of bronze bells. Uh, and uh, I have reproduced that. Those bells are bronze, which in those days were very expensive, extremely. That actually took about six tons of, uh, maybe three tons, excuse me, three tons of bronze to make a bell like that. You have to be a very important person to get this. And they know who he is because the center bell, which looks a little different, uh, has inscriptions on it to say who it is. Okay. Uh, but uh, people, when they play it, and when they play it, they use a big a rod and hit it. Now, the interesting thing, we don't know. We can actually hear. Here's one example where we can actually hear the sounds of what ancient people heard. The thing is, we don't know what the music
is the gist. There's still nothing written at that time. So if you would they realize that if you would hit it straight on, smack in the middle, that's one sound. What we would do on the side is going to be a minor third or a major third, you know, up and down. Okay, so this is uh, this is very fascinating. We maybe one day we can find out what they hear. But this is definitely an, an ancient bronze bells. The other um, tomb that was that was uh, discovered is Ma Wen Ma. Okay, this is a, a lady, 50-year-old lady, wife of a very important person. Uh, and, you know, in the afterlife, they want her to be happy, so they bury some musicians for her, okay, so they can play for her. And we see, we recognize an ancient Wu Zhen, okay, similar to this, and an ancient Sun, uh, which we actually still play to this day. Um, now, in, in the history of Chinese music, I talk about standardization of pitch.